Hello and welcome. My name is Kathy A. and I had meant to release this video a little bit sooner. Um, about a week ago there was an event at Sephora and it was a morning opening special thing for the VIB Rouge folks and I decided to bring my friend Corinne and we had a ball. So I actually filmed inside the Sephora while we were looking around at stuff. It's a little bit dizzying at times. <laughs> but here is, uh, it was raining and I had just met up with Corinne and we were walking into uh, Sephora and of course, you know, you get, you have to check in there at the front and then they showed us the little refreshment stand. They told us that uh, at 11 o'clock they were going to put front stage all of the new um, preview things, you know, for the fall season and it was like, it was 9 o'clock in the morning so I don't know, I can't kill two hours in a Sephora, not even me, not even looking at everything. As it was, I think we, we probably put in about an hour, hour and a half. So anyway, I'm going to show you what I bought, but here's a little bit of footage from the Sephora VIB Rouge special preview event. Oh, hi. hi! How are you? May I have your name? Kathy Fisher. Fisher, 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 Fisher. Catherine, and are you Miss Corinne? Yes, I am. All right, Miss Corinne. Welcome, Super. ladies. We have refreshments. David's tea. Oh, yeah. From David's tea, we have our glass here. Oh. So I kind of stepped out of my comfort zone. I usually like to shop for makeup alone. I usually like to just kind of look at what I want to look at, get out of the store. You know, I don't, I don't really want to, I don't want people helping me or suggesting things or anything like that. But this time, you know, with Corinne, it was kind of fun because she was looking for her uh, teenage daughter and she had some stuff for herself she was looking for. So I kind of went down all the aisles with her and we just swatched our way up and down all of the aisles. And it was a lot of fun doing it that way. I wouldn't have normally uh, looked at everything I looked at when I was with her. Um, the Anastasia um, counter was pretty bare. They had sold out most of the, uh, the lip glosses and they didn't have the new palette. Uh, there was, you know, a lot of things that were missing. The Tarte counter, uh, didn't, they didn't have the Tartist uh, line, they didn't have the uh, Rainforest of the Sea stuff. Um, Too Faced was out of the waterproof mascara that she was looking for. So and this Sephora that we went into in Connecticut was kind of a smaller one and uh, a little bit disappointing. They had a nice spread though, they had this kind of gacky uh, natural iced tea which was unsweetened and then they had all these like overly sweet coffee cakes and brownies and cookies and things so <laughs> it was kind of a little bit of both worlds. <laughs> um, so what did I buy? Uh, well, when we were at 
check out, what I decided to do was I got one of the Vice Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. And the case is nice. It looks like, actually, it looks like a bullet shell. <laughs> yes, Urban Decay. And this color is called Wildfire. And I just thought it was such a, I'm wearing it now. I thought it was such a pretty, um, kind of a, a warm toned red, but it isn't a, a metallic orange color. And I really like it a lot. It's called Wildfire. And I have to say, after swatching all of the colors that they had there, from the Vice lipstick line, every single one of them right next to each other on my arm. I wasn't impressed with most of them. There were a few of them that had a really good texture, really good color pigmentation, and there were some there that just were, they, they didn't really do it for me. They're very sheer or you know, the color was really weird or, no, I, I was um, just a little bit disappointed. Now these are only $17, which isn't bad, and um, again, I like the case a lot. I think the case is really cool. So this is the Urban Decay Vice lipstick. The second purchase I made was over at the Anastasia. Um, the whole booth for Anastasia was pretty much stripped bare. They did have the brow stuff in one section, and then they had a whole row of lipsticks, a whole row of lip glosses and there were only maybe six lip glosses left that they had in stock and this was one of them. And it's called Sunset Strip and I just thought wow this is going to be fun you know Sunset Strip. <laughs> this is kind of a very bright uh, coral, metallic coral And there is this kind of cupcake kind of taste to it, vanilla cupcake. It has the tiniest of micro glitter in it so that you get a very shiny, healthy, glamorous kind of look with it. And I love the name, Sunset Strip anyway, um, from my LA days. So um, this is the first lip product I have purchased from Anastasia and I probably will try uh, the lipsticks if they ever get them in stock. <laughs> lipsticks are one of those things that I like to try on in person. I don't like to order them online because you just never know what something's going to look like on your lips as opposed to what it looks like, you know, online when they show a swatch. And this, if you see it, you know, there is kind of a purpley, uh, glittery look to it and I would never have bought this. Uh, if I just looked at it online as a swatch. So trying it on, you know, of course I didn't try it on my lips. I swatched the lipstick and then I put this over the top of it and that's how uh, I got to get, you know, the color that I knew would be all right on me. <laughs> now I got some freebies. Um, what you get when you go through the the checkout is they gave you this really cool little satchel bag and it was full of like 10 or 11 different skincare samples you know sealed up little packages skincare samples and I thought that was really nice they also gave us a choice of uh, a Sephora mask you could get an egg mask or a mint mask I got the rose because I love the smell of roses and um, I had some points on my account, so I got a couple of things. And one of them was the Bite uh, Matte Cream Lip Crayon, and these are nice. They're not a a dry matte. You know, there's two kinds of matte. There's kind of a creamy matte, and then there's the dry matte. And this is called Glossé, and it's kind of a nudie brown. This is a deluxe sample, and it's a nudie brown color. It's more mauve kind of a mauve look. You can see the difference between the Wildfire and the uh, 
in the bite cream mat. And this is called Glacé. And online, this looks very dark and very brown, but it is kind of a smoked mauvey color. Really nice nude. I think it'd be very pretty for a work day. Also, and I was very surprised at this, we got a umbrella. And, you know, it was raining outside, so that was even better. We actually could use our umbrellas, but you get an umbrella for VIB Rouge. And my mother told me once that if you put an umbrella, woo, <laughs> if you put an umbrella on up over your head, it's bad luck in the house. And, you know, that very well may be true because I have filmed this video three times now, and I have tried to upload it once and it didn't work. And my um, program, my the, the program I use to edit all of my footage and everything, lost everything. It, it, it just turned itself off and all of the editing, all of the stuff I had done, all the captions, all the music, everything was gone. So I had to redo it all. But anyway, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think you have to do that to undo the curse for putting the umbrella over your head my mother, an old Irish lady, you know. <laughs> okay, so the umbrella is a wonderful, wonderful perk. I'm just really, really um, impressed with this. That was great. And between that and the sample bag of this and then all the food and they had um, a guy there from Hourglass who was making up somebody and they had, you know, everybody was in their own section ready to help and do things for you and little mini makeovers or brow work or you could do your nails. Just how beautiful they were. Men's like this. really glad Corinne went with me because it made it that much more fun to talk with somebody and to kind of show somebody uh, all the samples, you know, like. <laughs> so I also got another perk, the Atelier Perfume, which came as a, a little uh, spray bottle. I think I've already since used it, and it's kind of a unisexual uh, cologne. It's got a kind of a citrus smell. It smells like summer to me. It's really nice uh, from Atelier in France. So, that pretty much does it for the Sephora haul <laughs> at the VIB event, and um, I hope some of you got to attend it, but if you didn't, that's kind of what it was like. And we had a screaming baby in there the whole time. I was like, I don't like, as you know, I'm not a big fan of children screaming and running around, and this lady, I don't know why you would bring an 18 month old baby in with you to look at makeup in Sephora for a special event that's two hours long. This kid screamed from the moment they opened the door to the moment we all left at the same time. They were ahead of us in line, but she was waiting for her friend to check out. So the kid was screaming and screaming and screaming. And it was like the whole time I was there and all of the footage that has sound at some point or another, you'll hear that kid screaming. <laughs> Oh, this is kind of pretty too. Hourglass. There's somebody here today from Hourglass, they said. Did she? orgasm multiple. You're supposed to be able to use it as a lipstick and a beautiful. It's like a break. It comes out gray. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, because Alex is going to bully it. That's all right. Trying out. These are those box 
boxing shadows. Oh yeah. Uh, where you get the, the thing and then you get the ones to fill it. I I love them. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, this one's the famous one. Oh, anyway, I hope everybody's having a wonderful week. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.